Uh, so when setting up the trombone, um, a couple of fundamentals before we even have it assembled. Um, first things first, make sure that students grab the slide portion. And when they are uh, not playing it, please encourage them to have the slide lock in place. It's going to keep the slide from squirting away and getting damaged. Um, the great news about the trombone is they're pretty indestructible with one exception, and that's our slide. We want to take care of it. Um, so you'll notice on the slide um, itself, there is a mouthpiece receiver side and then a bell receiver side. The bell receiver has screw joints at the bottom. When you grab the bell, you want to make sure that you're positioning the bell over those screw joints, moving them on straight. Um, if that doesn't move on there smoothly, um, make sure that it's nice and clean. Make sure there's no damage done to it. You could put a tad, uh, a dab of uh, slide grease on there if it's really stubborn. And then make sure that you finger tighten down the screw that's on there. Um, students will have a tendency of just cranking on this, and that actually damages the brass that's there. Brass is fairly soft. So it's just finger tightened down, and that should hold it in place. So when you're putting together the trombone, you're looking for an angle that is just shy of a straight 90 degree angle on this. Um, I've got to over adjust it just a little bit there so we can move it back and forth. Um, we want to make sure that it's not flat. We also want to make sure um, that we're not collapsing it down on our head as we play. So we've got the instrument intact, finger lock, or uh, sorry, slide lock still in place. We drop the mouthpiece in giving that mouthpiece just a little quarter turn to make sure that it doesn't get locked in, and we're set to go. Again, slide lock is still in place until we're all set to go. So you're gonna take your hand and position it uh, thumb up with two fingers out. As you take that, place the thumb against uh, the brace on the bell brace. Um, for students who have rotor trombones, this will actually go on the rotor itself, or on the rotor uh, paddle. Two fingers or three fingers, for me it's usually pretty comfortable with two, around uh, the slide brace. And then the other fingers go underneath the slide, um, slide screw just to be able to support the weight of the instrument. All of the way the instrument is in the left hand. The right hand needs to be free to move the slide. At this point we're now ready to undo the slide lock, so we just flip it around, quarter turn. Um, when playing trombone, it's really critically important that we have, uh, that we use only our fingers with it. You'll see students who come in and try to gorilla grip the entire thing. This means now that in order to move it, we have to move it from the elbow. We want to have as much of that movement come from our wrist, um, using, you know, good uh, hand communication as we play. So we take just two fingers underneath the slide, a thumb right above, and this now allows us the freedom to move the slide just with our wrist, as well as moving our entire arm. To be able to position uh, the trombone then, as we play, we're going to bring it up above our left shoulder. It's important to note that it is not resting on our left shoulder. It's also important to note that my body posture is set before I bring it in place. So I have my shoulders lined up over my hips, the head is in place, and I bring the trombone to it. Um, dependent on the facial makeup of your trombonist, um, the trombone is typically, for about 90-95% of people, going to be declined slightly downhill. That is perfectly fine. You also want to make sure that trombonists get accustomed to um, where their music stands are positioned. Um, so the music stand for most trombonists is going to be positioned off to their right so that they have room for that slide to move. If they're going to have it in front of them, make sure that's far enough away. And likewise, make sure the people in front of them are far enough away. So we bring the trombone up. Again, the weight is all in my left hand, and I'm set to go. Again, keep an eye out for students who gorilla grip uh, the slide here. The other thing to watch for is students either dropping um, the whole instrument on their shoulder to play because it creates weird angles in the head or collapsing their wrist down uh, so that there is not a smooth continuous line from the elbow all the way up through the wrist and likewise in the right hand, um, a nice open position through the wrist and fingers. We want to limit um, tension that can uh, cause problems for things like carpal tunnel and tendonitis.